Good morning. I did not expect to still be in uh, video making mode at this point, but here we are. Here's two things that are going out. This is Dragon Fire Manual. It's pretty cool. Got a whole bag of those for like $5, I think. And they're slow movers, but they're super cool. And this, I don't know what made me stop and look at it. Doesn't look like much, but it's a World of Warcraft thing. And I paid $5 for it, so that's really cool. This was meant to just be an end of the year review thing, which it still will be, but I figured might as well talk about some more stuff that's sold as well. Harry Potter, magic trunk, yep. Oh, that was, <laughs> grabbed it right away. Quest 64, just tested these last night. They are working, awesome. These were sitting around in storage and I realized they weren't listed yet. <clears throat> So I posted them and got good money for them. Somebody picked up this TMNT metalhead. Excellent. Somebody bought six pounds of Lego. Somebody bought five pounds of Lego. Getting the bulk out of here. That feels great. This is a Lego part, believe it or not. And somebody paid $45 for it, plus shipping. That's the one Brickling quarter. See, this is what I'm talking about, like working on stuff and then just the orders keep coming in. Not complaining though, because I love it. These two guys sold, they talk to each other. I'm not gonna push them because I stored them in here. Every time something moved in this drawer, a button would get pushed and then I'd have to listen to them talk for forever. So, not anymore. Dropping off at the post office now. Was out running some errands. We're gonna stop in the Salvation Army real quick. They, they carry furniture in here, so fingers crossed I find the shelf I'm looking for. Well, they had a shelf that was a little too big for what I'm looking for, and they also wanted $100 for it. Like, it was 50. I might pay 50 for a shelf that large at a thrift store, but come on. But then we started looking around, and the half off color was tan, and I see all these Dungeons and Dragons books. So, uh, I haven't looked this one up, because we also found these, $7. This bag goes for 30 for some reason. I'm not sure why. $7 for that. These, they had them marked at $35.95 and it's like a half off. There's still money to be made in these, but then they cashier. <laughs> I hope nobody's watching this. I don't want her to get in trouble. Hide her name. Um, she's like, that's too much. She charged me $4 a book. <laughs> Gotta love somebody who's like, that's too much. Um, this is cool. I don't know who that is, but it's signed. So there's gotta be some value in that. That's a $40 book, paid uh, 15, I guess, ish. $40 book, it's brand new. Oh, that one wasn't half off, but it was worth it. And then half off for that, and it's about a $30 book, I think. So that ended up being a great stop. Today is not a thrifting day, so we're not gonna be doing this all day, but we're gonna do one more stop on the way back home, and hopefully uh, hopefully they have the shelf I'm looking for. All right, y'all, my instincts were correct. I just looked up this one, none listed, four sold, three or four sold, all over $100. This poly bag, 20. 50, 150, 70 dollars and 150 on three items. I think we're gonna do okay. Not a lot of furniture in there. Um, I'm probably gonna have to put some effort into Facebook Marketplace and offer up and things like that. Uh, let's head home. I'm gonna get this stuff we found posted right away. Okay, I need to just take a few minutes 
and say thank you to all of you. Um, you guys have just made this journey so incredible. I was looking back at videos at the beginning of the year and all of this. Uh, this was coming together, but this place looked so, so different. And it has transformed faster and become way more efficient over the last year. And you guys are a huge part of that. Uh, making I, the YouTube channel got monetized this year. Like that's huge. And that's um, some of you guys like I'll, I'll just name a few, Mardi Gras Man, Hooky Bricks, uh, Joel, Red Kansas. Um, I know I'm missing some, that's the danger of naming people, right? Is you start missing people, but uh, you guys come back and you pretty much watch every single video. And that's, I can't thank you enough for that. And I know there's people out there who don't necessarily comment, but they come back and uh, they're watching pretty much every single video also, so. That's just incredibly amazing. I'm incredibly grateful. And then on top of that, some of you buy stuff just to support me, which is like, what? Um, <laughs> like a couple people in Canada being like, hey, we wanna buy stuff from you. And I'm like, well, um, let me figure out how that works. <laughs> so that's been like a push for me to expand the business and uh, open up my, uh, my doors, my business doors to, to out of the country and so I, I gotta thank you all for that like that's I'm just flabbergasted by all of it to be honest you know um I've tried to be many things since I graduated college in college um I pursued being an actor I moved to Chicago to get into the improv and sketch comedy scene did that for a long time I toured with a children's theater before that uh, I've tried to be a writer, like movie scripts, and you know, stuff has been made, um, not professionally. Don't, <laughs> I don't, don't, yeah, not professionally. Um, <laughs> uh, I've directed plays, I've directed movies. I went on this uh, year long stint of like being a, a cartoonist, and st I did a drawing every day for a year, and you know, all this stuff it was is fulfilling. But I kept having to work these jobs that were just, um, some of them were good jobs, some of them were great bosses. Um, Harlan, if you're watching this, you were a great boss. Any, <laughs> uh, but the work was never for me. And the work, the work and how I wanted to live were constantly doing this. And then I'd go get a new job, try and realign it. And then the work was always something like just to survive until this thing I really want to do starts making money. Just to survive until this thing I really want to do starts making money. This Lego business, this Lego YouTube channel has been the first time that the work and what I enjoy have started to align and intersect. And um, that's life changing. I've certainly had jobs that made much, much more money. You, I, I'm very forward with the numbers with you guys. There are months where I'm scraping by, but uh, this is great. This is wonderful. And I get to spend two whole days a week with my son in the middle of the week. And not a lot of people can say that. I got weekends with him. Not a lot of people can say that. I get to spend that time with my wife. Not a lot of people can say that. So it's just like... It's thanks to people like you who have helped this channel grow, who uh, are very supportive of me, who come here to learn, and I hope I'm always returning the favor of like providing valuable information, making this a fun experience for all of you, making this uh, something that's insightful for all of you. You know, I've started talking about business books and uh, business theories, Atomic Habits being the big one this year, um, the E-Myth, I'm going to start talking about a little bit more, um, but this is, this all wouldn't be possible with, without your guys' support. And, um, oh my gosh. And then some of you also send like super things, like you don't even buy anything. You're just like, Hey, you're doing a good job. Here's five bucks. I'm like, what? That's insane. Um, <laughs> so, uh, I'm very excited to see what 2024 is going to bring. Uh, I've already teased like some of the changes that are going to be happening over the next month or so, putting in some more drawer space for bricklink storage. And yeah, I just, 
this is new for me, having what I like doing and having the work coincide and align. And I think there's only, it can only go up from here, like short of an, a whole economic collapse, the leak. Um, people like this stuff. People like Lego and I like selling Lego. I like playing with Lego, so it's great. Ah, oh, well that was a, how long was that? About a five minute ramble? <laughs> um, I'll just say thank you again. We got a couple more orders going out. The train is just moving, but I am gonna, I'm gonna shut down the store for a few days uh, tonight. And I'm gonna just spend time with family, enjoy the holiday. Probably a day or two before Christmas, I'll turn it back on. What, what I don't want to happen is I, want, I don't want somebody to buy something I ship it out and then they're like, it didn't get here for Christmas in time. I don't want that to happen. So I'm just going to shut down, let that business clear and then turn it back on a day or two before Christmas and try and catch some of that uh, traffic of people getting gift cards and money for the holidays and stuff like that. So that's the, that's the business strategy right there. So, all right, let's look at these orders. Enough wishy-washiness. One I packed up already, it was a, like a Grinch plush backpack and I didn't think, the things had slowed down enough, I didn't think there was going to be more sales, so it's like, I'll just pack it up. But then, of course, more stutter started coming in. Had a Bricklink order. Four of these train tracks, dark gray. Very nice. And then Super Mario Galaxy. Very nice. And that's where I'm going to call it. Thank you all again. Short version. And I'll catch you all in the new year. Merry Christmas. Um, Hanukkah's over. Happy Kwanzaa. Happy New Year. Any other holidays I might have missed in there. I hope you have a good one. And uh, see you next year.